It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Let's get to shucking. Go from the top, peel it down. We want kernels. Easiest way to do that is cut down the cob. And there you go. Easy. Sometimes it gets in the way, so you can just... Yeah, this is a two-handed weapon. I, I just... And there you have it. This is all the corn that we're gonna need. So I think the corn's pretty simple. Toss in a bunch of butter. You can see there's browning on the side over here. Make sure you salt it a little bit. The trick to sauteing beautiful, delicious corn is to not touch it too much. You can see all the steam coming out. That'll prevent it from burning. We have oil down. That's also gonna prevent it from burning. If you touch it too much, you're not gonna get that color. Don't touch it. You hear that popping? That's when you wanna start churning it. Because that's when you know more the moisture is gone and we... I was gonna say more and then start popping in my face, so I started turning it. Once it starts popping in your face, go and start turning it. That way it doesn't pop into your eyes. Here, we're starting to develop that nice caramelized color. That's good, that's perfect. For this, real simple. Put your corn in the blender, put the lid on, blend. Why isn't... There we go. You're gonna wanna add a little bit of water, thin it out. Now, this is starting to bubble a little bit. Be very, very careful. This stuff is hot, it will stick, and it will burn. Now it's bubbling a bit, I'm gonna put the noodles in. Yum. As it slowly cooks, I highly recommend you put a lid on. Instead of using the grill, we're gonna use the broiler. Drizzle in melted butter, salt. Pull around and rub it down. Make sure that the salt and the butter have even coverage. You wanna make sure you're getting every inch of this. You know, to get the flavor in. All right. That's right. Now, simply put in the oven. Broil, high, start. Now this is really thick, so you wanna make sure that you are scraping the bottom every so often so it doesn't burn. That's about cooked. I'm gonna strain this out. Now, you want to push this through the mesh as much as possible. You want to save all that corn juice. We're going to turn it into soup. Beautiful. Now, we're going to go ahead and set our noodles aside. To make the broth, it's really simple. I have homemade beef stock over here, but you can use chicken, you can use vegetable, whatever you want. A little bit of garlic, some homegrown chili, a little bit of oregano. Keep it simple, let the flavors of the corn shine through. Now, because these are smaller ingredients, we want a smaller knife. And make sure you keep your knife sharp. Let's prep our ingredient. For the garlic, keep it simple. Cut off the end, then slice it. Same with the chili, depending on how much chili you want. For the oregano, simply pull it down from the top. And like a chill the leaves. I'll just give the oregano a rough shot. You can tell it's good stock because of how jiggly it is. That means there's a lot of gelatin, there's a lot of collagen, that means a lot of protein, a lot of good stuff in here. And then, add our corn. Scoop our other ingredients in. Voila! And you just keep on rotating and keep on turning this until you have nice browning on all sides. Salt. Pepper. And MSG. We're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. We have beautiful, dangerous corn. And just like that, we have beautiful grilled corn. Towards the end of the cook, I like to finish with a little bit of white wine vinegar or sherry vinegar. A little bit of acidity helps balance everything out. And then you just wanna cook down the vinegar a little bit. For the last minute, two minutes, and now, we're ready to assemble. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some of our roasted corn. Little touch of Koroniki olive oil on top. Some microgreens on top. I mean, look at this thing. 
It's corn. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. But of course, you can't forget the corn! I hope you have a corn-tastic day.